Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to close a necklace professionally using a crimper tool. If you go to my website, you could order the Studio Tool Bag, and it comes with all these things that you need. A bead mat, bead stoppers, a crimping tool, and wire cutters. Now don't worry, if you don't have our Studio Tool Bag, you could use a towel, tape, pliers, or nail cutters. Any kind of pliers will do. So let's get started. I'm going to open the bead stopper by squeezing these two hinges, and then I'll grab my crimping tube. Now I'm going to attach my clasp, and I'm going to loop the wire, and then I'm going to slide it through the tube. I'm going to hold the crimp tube, and I'm going to pull the strand that has the beads versus the small little strand. And I'm going to make sure that I have enough space here in my loop so that the clasp can move. Now I'm going to grab my crimping tool. You can see there are two openings. The one closest to me looks like a crescent, and the one further away is more of an oval. First I'm going to use the crescent, or the one closest to me. I'm going to put the crimp inside, and I'm going to squeeze it. Now take a look. See that indentation there and how one wire is in each one? That's exactly how you want it. Now turn the indentation away from you and take your crimper and you're going to use the one further away from you, the groove that looks more like an oval. I'm going to put it inside and I'm going to squeeze. So now your crimp tube almost looks how it looked when it started. It looks like a tube. But when you get to that one side, you can see the fold in the metal. And that is what makes the necklace very secure. Then we're going to cut off this little excess piece of wire. I like to bend it over my finger so I can get it. I'm going to take my wire cutters and I'm going to put the flush side down. And I'm just going to snip it off. And now we're ready to do the next side. Slide them down so that all the space is on top. I'm going to open my bead stopper, put my crimp tube on, slide the other end of my clasp. So I'm going to slide it through the last link of the chain, and then we're going to slide the crimp tube through the two wires. Now this time, instead of pulling the wire with the beads, because it would then expose all the extra wire, we're going to pull the wire that's sticking out. And now see how it gets a little stuck? You sort of have to, I just pushed the tube down. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to put the tube in the groove closest to us and squeeze. Now you're going to move the indentation away from you, put the crimp tube in the groove further away from you, and squeeze again. See? There you go. And now I'm going to pull the wire away from the necklace, and again using the flush side of the wires, I'm going to get in as close as I can, and I'm going to cut off that excess wire. Guess what? You have a professionally closed necklace. Well done! If you like this video and want to see more like it, please follow me or go to my website, shopsaskia.com. Have fun creating!